Thank you. Love. As God's official legislator and law enforcement agent, I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. I effect and enforce God's original plans and purposes over against the plans and the purposes of Satan. I decree and declare that in this battle, no intrinsic, no extrinsic weapon, be it emotional, financial, physical, social, psychological, spiritual, organizational, interpersonal, formed against me shall prosper. I place upon myself the armor of light and of the Lord, truth to cover my loins, the breastplate of righteousness to cover my heart and chest cavity, the gospel of peace to cover my feet, the shield of faith to defensively and offensively cover my body, the helmet of salvation to cover my head, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, a robe of righteousness, the glory of God as my rare reward. I decree and declare that the weapons of my warfare are not carnal but mighty through God. I pull down strongholds, cast down vain imaginations, and every high thing that lifts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. My thoughts are now subject to the Lordship of Christ. I speak that the God's anointing destroys every yoke in my life, and that my soul, my spirit, my body now functions in order according to divine systems of protocol. I decree and declare that I am healed and spirit filled in sickness and disease. Jesus are far from me. I establish divine parameters, boundaries, and borders, and legislate and establish the laws of the kingdom of heaven to govern all activities within. I overrule and disallow. I veto every diabolical sanction, subverting activity, injunction, directive, mandate, or order which opposes the will of the Lord concerning my life, my ministry, my finances, my family. Hallelujah. I disannul diabolical decisions and rulings concerning my ministry and concerning my life and the lives of my family members, my friends, my associates. Uh, I take control over the airwaves, the galaxy, systems, realms, regions, domains, spheres, stratospheres, hemisphere, atmosphere, anything that will affect uh, me negatively. I bring it unto the obedience uh, and the Lordship of Christ and I decree and declare that those things are aligned. Uh, I dispossess master spirits uh, and employ Michael, Archangel, the angelic host to handle any satanic contentious disputing, striving, resisting concerning this injunction I decree and declare successful divine and angelic undertakings, undergirdings reinforcements and assistance according to your word in Psalm 103 and 20, I summon angels that now excel in strength and to marshal and protect my personage and property and possessions Jehovah Gibor, Contend with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take hold of the shield and buckler. Stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and the javelin. Close up the way of those who pursue and persecute me. Clothe yourself in your garments of war. Muster your devices. Gather your weaponry and ammunition from your divine arsenal. Make bright your arrows. Gather your shields. Let vengeance be your ultimate goal as you overthrow the chariots, the horses, the riders. Us. Let terror strike the hearts of my enemy and cause their hearts to fail. I decree and declare that by you, I run through troops. By you, I leap over walls. You are my God, the God who girds me with strength, the God that makes my way perfect. It is you who makes my feet as hinds feet, giving me stability so that I'm able to stand firmly and progress on dangerous heights of testing and trouble. You set me securely upon my high places. You teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight, granting me supernatural strength and abilities so that my arms break a bow of steel. You are my rock, my shield, my strong tower. You have equipped me with the shield of salvation and your right hand establishes me as a victor in this battle. Father, beat down the enemy. Give me their neck. Cause me to pursue and overtake them until they are wounded and consumed. Falling at my feet, never to rise up again. Establish my name in the heavenlies. Let them that hear of me submit and obey me because of the anointing that you have placed upon my life. Because of the spirit of servanthood. Hallelujah. From which I operate. I am your servant 
And even as Elijah came, hallelujah, requesting an open heaven and fire falling down because of his servanthood, I come as your servant praying this prayer. I announce that it is you who has blessed me. It is you who has empowered me. It is not by my strength. It is not by my might, but it's by your power and by the Spirit of the Lord, which is upon me, the Spirit of might, hallelujah, that comes upon me. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood, your spirit lifts up a standard against him. I forbid and disallow further opposing activities of any satanic personalities with diabolical assignments concerning my life, my ministry, my family, and I wage a warfare for them and for everything that you have released in the realm of the spirit that pertains to my life and godliness. I disapprove and prohibit any demonic interception and interference or resistance. I resist satanic contentions, intentions, provocations, negotiation concerning my life, my soul, and superimposed prophetic purpose and divine destiny over against all activities and opposing forces that are contrary to the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning my life. I bind satanic harassment and rebuke satanic concentration. I bring to a halt and prohibit all satanic surveillance. I lift false burdens. I remove the feelings of heaviness from off of your child, from off of that one that is listening to this tape. Spirit of oppression, I bind you and I loose your effect. Hallelujah, spirit of depression, I bind you. Loose God's man, loose this woman of God, loose this man of God, loose this child in the name of Jesus. I cast them upon the Lord. I cast the burden. I cast the feelings of heaviness. I cast distress. I cast disillusionment and place it at the foot of Jesus. Hallelujah. And make you a part of the footstool of Jesus. I decree and declare that they shall not be moved. I decree and declare that by the anointing, covenants and contracts and chains and fetters and bondages, proclivities and captivities, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that is contrary to or oppose or hinder the fulfillment of God's original plan and purposes, they are broken. I sever it or unconscious alliance, association, allegiance or covenant. We open ourselves to divine deliverance. Father, have your way now. Perfect those things concerning us. Father, we also decree and declare that a prayer shield, the anointing, and a bloodline, hallelujah, forms a hedge of protection which hides us from familiar spirits and from all demonic personalities, making it difficult, if not impossible, for them to track us in the realm of the spirit. There shall be no preparation and penetration. In the name of Jesus, the anointing seals access the Holy Spirit stands on guard Jesus Christ the captain of our Lord hallelujah we work with him we work syncopated with him we are synchronized with the Holy Spirit at this time we release hallelujah our names into the atmosphere and decree and declare that prayer warriors intercessors prophetic watchmen are picking us up in the realm of the Spirit we speak that they will not cease or come down from their watchtowers until their assignments have been completed. We decree and declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, divine counsel, supernatural night, knowledge, the utmost fear of Jehovah. And Father, as I advance, and as we advance, and as we are divinely empowered and increase in skill and understanding, I decree and declare, hallelujah, a fresh supply of the Spirit in the name of Jesus, we obliterate and annihilate satanic impressions, illusions, projections, perceptions, suggestions, suspicion, deception that is set up as a decoy or an ambush to our soul and those assigned to pray with us, for us, on behalf of us, to intercede for us, those that work with us and are assigned to work with us and are assigned to us and interact with us on a daily basis. We disannul and disengage and disallow any further impressions coming to their mind or their spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, overthrow the plans of the troublemakers. 
scorners, scoffers, mockers, persecutors, character assassins, exposed satanic representatives, grant unto us divine strategies and tactics to identify, resist, overcome every plot and every plan established for our demise. Draw out your spear, stop them in their way. Let them be confounded and put to shame. Let them fall by their own counsel. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Let them be as chaff driven by the wind. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Let their way be through dark and slippery places with the angel of the Lord pursuing and afflicting them. Let them be put to shame and dishonor those who seek and require our lives. Let them be turned back and confounded who plan our hurt. Let destruction come to them suddenly. Let them fall to their own destruction. Let destruction come upon them unaware. Let them stumble and fall into the very destruction they have contrived for us. Let them be wounded and destroyed by the very weapons they have devised for us. Let them be caught in the same net they have set for us. Let them fall in the very pit that they have dug for us. Let them be hung by the very noose they have constructed for us. Let them be burned by the very fire they have lit for us. Let them be consumed by the very beast that they have prepared for us. Strike them down in the very act of their mischief. Let their mischief be returned to them double fall. Pluck them out of their dwelling place. Root them out of the land of the living. Let evil slay them and desolation be their lot. Make them as a wheel turning in confusion. Make them as stubble before the wind. Make them as wood burning in the fire. Persecute them with the tempest. Cause fear and terror to grip their hearts. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Your name is glorified, Jehovah Gibor. Put a halt to all destructive, disturbing, distractive measures. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest that he would destroy the works of the enemy. And I decree and declare that the works of the enemy is destroyed. I prevail against satanic inhibitions, prohibitions, all limitations. I decree and declare that all invisible and invincible walls are destroyed. I execute divine judgment against satanic demonic activities. And I warn the spirit of Elijah and Jehu. I disapprove, nullify, dismantle, cancel, and forcefully oppose any satanic operations, maneuvers, manipulations, subversions, strategies, tactics, plots, plans, ploys, which are designed to hinder, prevent, frustrate, spoil, deny, delay God's original plan and purpose from their quick, swift, and speedy manifestations, particularly in the correct time and season. I decree and declare that we are moving syncopated to your correct timing and season of the book that is written of us. I decree and declare that the eyes of my spirit function with 2020 vision for correct understanding and interpretation of divine movements. We decree and declare that our eyes are attuned with the correct frequency in the spirit that we have clear transmission. We employ the host of heaven to war against the host of darkness. Take command and bring a hope and place a moratorium on further demonic movements and satanic activities emanating from the underworld and its six regions. Hallelujah. Death, hell, the grave, the pit, the abyss. Hallelujah. Regions of the sea. Oh, Jehovah Gibor, fight in these areas. Even as you brought deliverance over the children of Israel who had problems. Hallelujah. Fighting with the forces of hell from the six regions. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that you are causing us to overcome and you are giving us victory through your son, Jesus Christ. We decree and declare, hallelujah, that the host of heaven is warring against, hallelujah, every demonic host. Hallelujah, they're warring over terrestrial and celestial domains. Hallelujah. We superimpose the prophetic word over all abortive measures, strategies, tactics of the enemy. We overrule and overthrow according to Isaiah 54, 17. Ill-spoken words, ill witches, enchantments, divination, spells, hexes, curses, witchcraft prayers, every idle word spoken contrary to God's original plans and purposes. We reverse the curse associated with these utterances and decree and declare that they shall not stand. They shall not come to pass. They shall not take root. Their verbal, violent dealings are returned to them double pole. We decree and declare that every lying tongue is wrong and that signs of witches and warlocks who withstand the anointing as you did with Janice and Jumbries in the days of Moses. Confound the omens of liars, astrologers, psychics, prognosticators, sorcerers, and the like. Make fools of diviners. Make their dark knowledge foolishness. Father, 
rebuke and dismantle satanic alliances and confederations. Arrest them by the spirit. Let every covert and clandestine effort and endeavor fail. Disappoint the devices that they have crafted so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Take them in their own crafty and devious ways. Let them meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as the night overrule and overthrow sabotage, subversion, setbacks. Let every attack of retaliation fail. Hallelujah. Confirm the words of your servants in their minds and perform the counsel of your messenger. Send divine, angelic, prophetic assaults against diabolical intelligence. Release divine viruses to invade satanic databases and command that they be consumed and destroyed. Blot out all diabolical records so that the accuser of the brethren has nothing upon which he may substantiate his accusations and allegations with. Let all future diabolical communications and networkings fail. Send a spirit of confusion among them. Let their tongues be divided so that when they communicate, it will be incoherent and misunderstood. Arrest those that operate in the spirit of Jezebel or Belial. Let them not resist the anointing, usurp authority or gain any ground in the natural or in the realm of the spirit. I prohibit satanic manifestations and speak that divine abortive measures and miscarriages occur in satanic wounds and incubators. Now, Father, you have given us a great work to accomplish. We war for the releasing of finances and all resources that belong to us. Everything prepared for us before the foundation of the world that pertain to our life, our ministry, and our calling. We shall not and will not be denied. We shall not and will not accept substitutes. We call in the resources from the north, the south, the east, the west. We decree and declare that every resource necessary for us to fulfill your original plan and purpose comes to us without delay. We decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked is no longer laid up for us, but is released now. Let those who hold on to our wealth any longer than they should be afflicted and tormented without relief until they release what rightfully belongs to us. We command Satan according, hallelujah, to Job 20 verse 15 to 18. Spit it out. Loose it. Cough it up. Release it. And let it go. I reiterate. Cough it up, spit it out, loose it, release it, let it go. Jehovah Jireh, loose the loins of kings. In the name of Jesus, command that the two living gates be opened. Go before us, make the crooked places straight. Break into pieces the gates of brass, cut into sunder the bars of iron. Grant unto us according to your riches and glory, your tender mercies and immeasurable favor, the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places. We decree and declare that the Cyrus anointing flows unhindered, uncontaminated in our lives. I decree and declare according to Psalms 24, 7 to 10, lift up your heads, O ye gates and keepers of the gates, and be ye lifted up, ye dividing doors and doorkeepers, that the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord of hosts may come in. I announce our awareness that you cannot deny him access. Therefore, he is my shepherd leading me. Therefore, I will not and cannot be denied of what rightfully belongs to me. I decree and declare the releasing of the forces of the Gentile, the gold and the silver from my prophetic torches, my prophetic queen of Sheba, to come later with precious possessions, resources, endowments fit for the sons and daughters of the king of kings. I decree and declare that I shall suck the milk of the Gentiles, suck the breast of kings. I shall be enlarged as the abundance of the sea is converted unto me. The sons of strangers shall build up my wall and the king shall minister unto me. I decree and declare that my God has brought me into a wealthy place. I dwell in my prophetic Goshen. I increase in substance and prosper in the land whereto I abide. I am sent as an ambassador of God, as his official representative, with diplomatic and aristocratic rights, privileges, respect, honor. All of these things are extended to me. Grace, truth, goodness, and mercy are my bodyguards. I decree and declare wisdom is my counselor. The spirit is my consultant. 
Jesus Christ is my advocate. God El Elyon is my only judge. And he has declared and I therefore established that my officers are peace, my executors righteousness, my wall salvation, and my gates praise. I decree and declare that my set time of favor will not be frustrated. I release upon my life, my ministry, the lives of every family member, my associates, my friends, the following anointing for wealth and prosperity so that God and God's name alone is glorified. The Jabez anointing, the Abrahamic anointing, the Melchizedek anointing, the Joseph that they hit bullseye. I decree and declare that the laws that govern this prayer and all spiritual warfare strategies and tactics are binding by the word, the blood, and by the spirit. And I decree and declare that every spirit is released from their diabolical assignment and now becomes a part of the footstool of Jesus. And I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pronounce this blessing upon you today and it is a benediction of blessing I decree and declare this is the day the Lord has made since every good gift comes from God I speak that this day is both good and perfect may your day bring you divine opportunities and may it be filled with strategic encounters may it be filled with wonderful surprises supernatural breakthroughs and miracles may the best of your today become the worst of your tomorrows may this moment become your defining moment marking the ending of a sad depressing discouraging history and the beginning of a prosperous debt-free disease-free depression-free destiny may you forever live under an open heaven may God give you a strategy for prosperous and successful living may you be well acquainted with your heritage where you come from with your inheritance what you were born into with your identity who you are with your purpose what you were born to be with your destiny where you are going with your vision what you see yourself accomplishing within your lifetime with your mission why you do what you do the reason the intention for you doing that with your assignment what you should be doing when you get there with relationships who you should be doing it with when you get there the people that add value to your life with resources with what you should be doing it with what timing and your gifts and your abilities uh, your timing is when you should be doing what you're doing uh, I pronounce a benediction upon you that God will give you a strategy give you the ability to know what you should be doing and how you should be doing it and then finally I pronounce a blessing upon you and this benediction that you you will leave a legacy that you will leave something for the next generation to know that you did it I pronounce this benediction upon you that you will live in a prosperous healthy environment may God prosper the works of your hand may everything you touch turn into prophetic goal may your life forever reflect the shimmer of God's glory and divinity may your life be blessed with all good things may joy peace prosperity and success be as abundant as the stars at night may friendship favor affluence influence happiness support beauty purpose direction and abundant living be your constant companion may you be unconditionally loved celebrated revered appreciated and honored beyond measure and human comprehension by all may God grant you true lasting mutually beneficial relationships friendships association alliances partnerships and support may your vision Victories be as abundant as the grain of sand. May lack and struggle be a distant memory of the past. May you subdue your enemies. May you be fruitful in all of your endeavors. May God grant you multiple streams of income. May you navigate these streams with an anointing that gives you business savvy. May economic and financial tides turn in your favor. May abundant wealth be transferred into your hands. May the title 
deeds for commercial, real estate, and prime property be placed in your financial coffers, your chambers, and treasury. May your income always be greater than your expenditure. May you be more than happy to underwrite your government's budget by paying your taxes. May you have so much more money than needed for your day-to-day -day expenses. May you always have more than enough to give. May you become a humanitarian, giving to those who can never repay the favor. May you give a tenth of your earnings to a charitable, non-profit organization whose focus is on helping the less fortunate, the orphan, the widowers, the homeless, the destitute, and helpless. May your bank accounts be filled. May your pocketbook never run dry. May you consider a million dollars pocket change. May daily compounding interest favor your investment. May your words be recorded, published, distributed, and bought. May God divinely increase and prolifically bless you. May your network and net worth increase profoundly. May you be resourceful. Everything you need will be available to you when you need it. May your blessings come upon you and overtake you. May your success confound your criticism and overwhelm your enemies. May they become speechless as their tongues cleave to the roof of their mouths in disbelief. May you experience overnight success. May you live in an Edenic state of mind and dwell in your prophetic Goshen. May God release divine angelic escorts to safely lead you into the promised land. May your head never lack fresh oil. May your mouth be filled with spontaneous praise. May your hands never lack productivity. May your mind never lack witty million dollar ideas and creative billion dollar inventions. May your spirit be filled with God's abundant and divine presence. May your soul never lack joy and peace. May your heart never lack courage. May your feet never lack progress. May the light of God's word forever light your pathway. May you blaze new trails. May you run through troops and leap over walls. May you discover new horizons as you become the Christopher Columbus of your discipline, your industry, your profession, and your chosen field. May music and laughter fill your house. May your home be a haven of peace. May wealth and riches be in your house. May God dissolve the pain of yesterday so that it will never appear again tomorrow. May the abundance of the sea be converted unto you. May every good seed you planted last seed Season, yield a fruitful harvest this season. May your activities be synchronized and syncopated to heaven's rhythm. May you know God in his fullness. May he grant you pleasure and power. May greatness be your portion. May you live your life in such a way that all the world will know that it is blessed because of your presence in it. May you experience supernatural increase. May you live in a mortgage-free mansion. May May you own Fortune 500 type companies and businesses. May your wealth outlive all future generations. May your loved ones be favored. May they never become homeless or lack bread to eat. May they have the comparative advantage. May they set honorable goals and outperform their competition. May they live on the competitive edge. May they perceive and capitalize on opportunities. May they optimize their potential. May they maximize their educational disciplines. May routine and consistency remain as an integral part of their lifestyle. May your relationships be mutually beneficial. May you be settled with who you are and what you are called to do. May you never settle for less than what you deserve. May you expect only the best for your life. May you continuously raise the bar and push the envelope on your life's performance. May you outperform your competition. May you think big and always outside of the box. May you practice discipline, routine, and remain focused. May you set plausible goals and reach them. May you live drug-free, drought-free, debt-free, disease-free, drama-free, depression-free.
tuition free. May excellence be the signature upon all you do and say. May you become all that God will have you to become. May God supply all your need according to his riches in glory. May his spirit be your companion. May Jesus forever be your Lord and Savior. May you become the head and not the tail. May you forever be the first and not last. May you forever be above only and not beneath. May you be strengthened in the inner man. May you continue to dream big. May you awaken every morning to live the life of your dreams. May you live a humble life of gratitude and thanksgiving, knowing that he which began the good work in you will complete it for faithful is he that calls you to this realm of success and prosperity and it is he who will also do it. I speak this benediction of blessing upon your life in the name of Jesus. According to Genesis 28, 3 to 4, and the God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayst be a multitude of people and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, to thy seed with thee, that thou mayst inherit the land whereinto thou was a stranger which God gave unto Abraham. According to Ephesians 3, 20 to 21, now unto him that is able to do the exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all age, world without an amen. According to Psalm 1, 29 verse 8 the blessing of the Lord be upon you we bless you in the name of the Lord and according to number 6 24 to 26 the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace amen